Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to do something a little different than we normally do on our channel. <clears throat> normally we're doing vlogs for uh, traveling to different places. Today we're going to do a table makeover that was inspired by a trip we took to Portugal. So we had this patio table that we had for a long time. I never liked it. It's brown, it's boring, the tiles wobble inside and it was starting to peel but I didn't want to spend the money on a new table. Then we took a trip to Portugal and um, in a number of other places in Europe and the architecture and the environment there and the tiles that they use everywhere in different areas of Portugal are just are just interesting, very interesting to me. Uh, apparently at one point in time in Portugal, tiles were cheaper than paint and they ended up tiling buildings and walls and it's very different. So this is picture here is of some tiles that were in a pastry shop that we would visit in the morning to get our pastel de nanas and our coffee, which were fabulous. I guess I liked it enough to take a picture of the wall and when I got home I noticed that I had some pottery that was from Portugal in my china cabinet that had similar coloring <clears throat> and I had gotten this from my mom. My mom was Portuguese and her parents were from Portugal and so we have some of these family heirlooms around. So I decided to use these things to inspire the makeover for the table and use the same coloring and it would match what I had in my china cabinet. I'd never really done anything like this before so I spent some time researching before I started and I'm going to jump right in and tell you what you need to do the same thing, tell you some tips about what I learned along the way and if you have a similar style table maybe you can take advantage of this. Things you need. You're going to need some painter's tape. Painter's tape is important for dealing with the stencils, and I'll show you that later. You're going to need some sandpaper to sand down the table before you paint. A wire brush or brushes will come in handy when you're sanding. You're going to need a stencil that you like. I got my stencil from Michaels. It was just something that they had on the shelf when I saw it. I thought it was perfect for what I needed. I used a paint roller to prime the tiles. It was just quicker to do it that way. I'm sure you could use a brush if you wanted to. I didn't choose any particular kind of roller. I just grabbed one that we had laying around in our garage. I didn't think it mattered a whole lot for the primer. Now you're going to need some primer to prime the tiles. And initially I had chosen some kills and that didn't work out so well. After about six months, they started peeling. So I highly recommend getting the extreme adhesion type that I show here. So far it's been over a year and it's still holding up very well. Of course you're going to need some paint to paint the pattern with the stencils and the oil enriched enamel worked well. A type of protective finish, a polycrylic. I use this Minwax water base and so far that's holding up too. Then you're going to need some spray paint to paint the frame. So I use this Rust-Oleum Forged Hammer was the color. It's paint and primer in one and that went on nicely and worked very well as well. Last but not least you need a foam roller to paint the stencil on the tile. Getting started, you want to start by removing all the tiles from the table and then doing the sanding that you need on the base. The base of our table was really starting to peel and so it was obvious that I needed to get some of that off and repaint those areas. So I used the sandpaper and the wire, wire brush and I just did it into where I could get it as smooth as possible and not uh, see any more peeling. So I didn't get it all the way down to the metal everywhere and in the places that were worse I tried to get it as close as I could but I yeah I just got it smooth and then I moved on. 
So then I took the spray paint. I brought my table outside on the grass so that I wouldn't get any paint on my patio. And I sprayed the frame. To use the spray paint, you want to shake the can really well. And then you want to have it be about 8 to 12 inches away. And use a very steady back and forth stream. All it takes was one heavy coat. And it would dry to touch within about 30 minutes. And fully dry within about 24 hours. So I would do one part. I'd let it dry for 30 minutes to an hour. Then I'd... I'd move the table and get, you know, the underneath or whatever areas that I needed to get. The cool thing about this particular kind of paint is that it works at any angle. So you can hold it up and down or sideways and it'll get into those nooks and crannies. I mentioned earlier how the tiles would wobble in the table and my solution for that was buying these little pads to put on the corners of each of the tiles and that worked really great. I don't know why it didn't come with those initially, but it was a simple solution. So then I laid the tiles down on top of a tarp and I rolled the primer on them. This was the easiest way, the quickest way to get the primer on. Actually, Terry helped me with this part. Um, it went pretty easily. We did two coats of the primer. So we, we did one coat, let it dry, then we did the second coat. We did do both coats on the same day, and in between coats, we covered the roller with aluminum foil and the paint came, uh, roller bin with aluminum foil as well to keep it fresh. It worked great. I believe we waited until the next day to do the stenciling just to make sure things were really dry. So I laid them out on my table, and then I started preparing them for the stencils. So I came up with this method to attach the this, this stencil slightly to the tile. And I just took some painter's tape and I curled it up and I stuck it on the edges and then I stuck the stencil on top of it. just needed it to hold without moving, uh, but you don't want that tape to be too high because then the paint, the stencil will lift up and the paint will be, it will get underneath. So you have to be careful about that. You might have a better way, but this is how I did it, and it worked pretty well for me. Now we get to the fun part, which is painting the stencils. So I use this Valspar Doran Trim Oil Enriched Enamel that I thought would hold up. Its uh, color was Delft Pottery. You can see it there in the video. I got it from Lowe's. So then we started rolling. I used a foam paint roller, not the usual kind that we, you would use for a wall or anything. The foam worked excellent for this particular project. As you can see, I just would start in the middle and then work my way to the edges each time, trying to be careful, uh, using enough paint and pushing in to the stencil to make sure everything was covered. I honestly didn't care if there was a little bit of bleed underneath because I thought it added to the character of the table. So I wasn't super careful about that. You can see I just keep working it in to all of the edges, making sure the paint fills it in. Each one only took you know, a minute or two. They didn't really take very long. I only had one stencil, and each time I did a tile, I would go right to the sink, and I would rinse it off. So because the paint hadn't dried at all, it was very easy to get the paint off. It would just come right off in the sink. I'd flip it over, do the other side. And then I'd take it out and wipe it off with a paper towel to dry it off so that I could use it again. Once I had all the tiles painted and I let them dry, I put them back into the table like this. And then I did the the protective coat on top. I just followed the directions for the protective coat, 
I did it, uh, I did multiple layers of that, two to three layers of the coat on top, which is holding up very well. It gives it a nice smooth finish so you can clean the table easily without rubbing the paint off. Uh, I have used the polyacrylic before on a wood table, which was much more challenging because you could really see bubbles and things like that. But on the tiles, it went on really nicely. I really like this project because it wasn't complicated. It didn't take that long. It was a nice project. We were actually watching football while I was doing all the stencils that one afternoon. And I'm really happy with the results. So now I love my table. I don't hate it anymore. And it doesn't wobble. And everyone sits around it and it makes me happy. So I hope you like that video. I know it's a little different from what we normally do. I thought it might be worthwhile sharing. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know if you'd like to see more things like this. Uh, don't forget to check out our store and uh, check out our website. Cheers. Mm -hmm.